For the beam and loading shown, what is the equation of the elastic curve, the slope at end A, and the deflection of point C? This is the first example for the beam deflection and singularity functions main video. The link to that video and the other examples are in the description below. The slope at point A will be equal to the slope function evaluated at x equal to zero. The deflection at C will be the equation of the elastic curve evaluated at x equal to A. To get both of these equations, theta and y, we will start by writing the distributed load w of x function using singularity functions and integrate four times. To find the integration constants c1 and c2 that will appear in theta and y, we will use two boundary conditions. At x equal to zero, the beam cannot go up or down, therefore the deflection is zero. And the same is true of point b at x equal to l. Since there is no distributed load applied to the beam, w of x is equal to zero. The integral of zero will just be the integration constants, which we know are the external point loads for v of x. With a free body diagram of the beam and the sum of moments about b, we find the value for the reaction at a. Just like during the example of the main video, we will not be needing the value for the reaction at b, since it won't affect the singularity function. You can check the link below if you have questions about that. V of x will therefore have a y at x equal to zero. And again, just like we studied during the main video, this term is equal to one. Mx will be the integral of Vx plus the integration constants, which for m of x are any external couples or reaction moments. And just like we studied in that main video, a counterclockwise slash positive external couple is written with a negative sign in the m of x function. This external couple is located at x equal to a. Integrate in once more, and without forgetting c1, we find the slope function times ei. And integrating for the last time, we find the equation of the elastic curve times ei. Using the first boundary condition, which means using the last equation with x equal to zero and y of x equal to zero, we see that all terms are zero, including the bracket with the negative value within it, which is a zero, and therefore c2 is equal to zero. Using the second boundary condition, which means using the same equation, now without c2, since we already know c2 is zero, means substituting x with l and y of l with zero. Solving for c1 and substituting the variables for a y and l minus a, we can find a simplified expression for c1. With c1 in terms of the given variables, knowing that c2 is zero and substituting a y, we find the equation of the elastic curve. The slope at a will be the first equation evaluated at x equal to zero, and the deflection at c will be y of x evaluated at a. For more examples on beam deflection, including reaction moments and triangular distributed loads, as well as the other videos of the Mechanics of Materials course, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Thanks for watching.